Questions now for Kurt Bush, if you have one. We'll start with Reagan and come over here to read. Go ahead, Reagan. Kurt, um, can you share a few more memories about that win, the rain out win in 07? I think that you called it the 72 hours of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, we were, um, we were joking around about that today, looking at the forecast. It's um, much more pleasant this time around than it was back in 2007, where we were all ready to go on Sunday and it got rained out. A lot of people left knowing that it was going to rain on Monday. And I just camped out at the motorhome and, and waited for the sun to finally break through. And it, it didn't even break through on Tuesday morning when we f finally got out there. There was still too much of a fog to where we couldn't even start the race because the spotters couldn't see the car going into turn three. So lots of emotions where you're, you're trying to get focused for the race. You're trying to get into the race routine, and, and you couldn't. And then uh, to finally get the full 400 miles in, to see the grandstands packed with, with our, our Michigan natives and all the people from the Midwest, it was, it was surprising to see that such a great turnout on a Tuesday. And it might be one of the only races run on a Tuesday, and to claim that victory was pretty special. And it's in, anytime you win at Michigan, it's special, especially for the auto manufacturer. Go ahead, Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with Sporting News. At Charlotte, you beat Jamie in the 600. Uh, last week at Pocono, you had Sam leading Montoya, running 1-2 late in that race at one point. This week, the, the Penske car and the Ganassi car are back on, on top of the board again. Is it getting to where um, the rivalry is starting to resemble that in IndyCar, and is it getting to where, uh, where you want to beat these guys on this side as much as they do on that side? It's always uh, been a genuine rivalry between Ganassi and, and uh, Penske and the drivers. We don't feel it as much, but with situations that keep coming up like this and with Roger texting me or patting me on the back saying, hey, way to bring it home for the good guys, it makes you feel like the rivalry is there for sure. And, you know, it's just coincidental that we were running good and the Ganassi cars are running good, whether it's my teammate and, and Montoya and myself and McMurray, you know, it's good to be on that competitive side, whereas we see the RCR cars and the Gibbs cars <clears throat> running into each other a lot. You know, that's just coincidental as well. So it's just one of those fun times where things are going good for both of our programs, and we hope that uh, the rivalry continues on. Got a question here from Mike. Go ahead. Mike Hembree, SpeedTV.com. Kurt, your first poll here in, uh, in about 20 races is it just a matter of waiting to have the good car, or did it take you a while to kind of figure everything out? you got to have the full package here at Michigan. Um, I've, I've missed it a bunch of times off turn four. I, um, I've told the different uh, TV outlets today when, when I did get the poll, I was like, you know, my weak area before was turn four. Today that was our strong point, especially looking at the, um, the, the segment times around the racetrack. You've got to have the horsepower. You've got to have the aerodynamics. You've got to have the handling. And most importantly, which is probably the most underrated factor, is you've got to have the optimum track, track uh, conditions. And so with McMurray going out first, he had the optimum conditions with the coolest track. We went out 11th. Uh, Montoya might have had a pole-sitting car, but he had to go out 35th. And so sometimes that's the way the pill draw drops for you. And it, today re resembled a day like at Indianapolis where we qualify at 10 in the morning. You want to go out first and get that cool track condition. And going out 11th, we, we were, you know, not in the best spot, but we weren't in the worst spot. So, yeah, just all the years of missing it by a little bit here and there, you know, it feels good to finally put one together. Go ahead, Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. How is the dynamic different between you and, and uh, your current crew chief, Steve Addington, compared to Pat Tryson? That's a, that's a tough question. I mean, I've always tried to – tried to pride myself in giving the crew chief the best information that I can give as far as how the car's handling and to make their job as easy as it can be. And when we're out there making adjustments on the car, right now the way that Steve's throwing things at the car, I definitely understand each step that he's taking to uh, learn about the car and to give the car speed. Uh, there would be times where me and Pat would be doing the same thing but there would be that thought going, man, I don't know if this is going to make the car any faster. We just need to try it. So right now, we're, I think it's, it's a great combination that we have of exploring new ideas, but also while we're doing that, we're finding speed at the same time. Anything else for Kurt? Okay, Kurt, congratulations on uh, getting the Coors Light Pole Award for the uh, Sunday race, and uh, keep it up with the Miller Light 
Vortex Dodge. Thank you. It was my lucky Mopar hat today, too. Thank you.